I'd like to tell you a fairy tale. One that others don't dare speak of. What really happens to a princess beyond happily ever after? All good things must come to an end. But the end is only the beginning. And welcome to a brand new Sims 4 series. I am so excited to be starting a new Sims 4 series with you guys. A lot of you guys have been requesting it and it's been quite a while since I've played, but I am so excited for this one because we are going to be exploring the Vampires pack. So I decided to put a fun spin on this and make this a Disney Princess Vampire Diaries series. So I know it's a mouthful, but I thought it would be really fun to take some of the Disney princesses and put them in this vampire world and see where their life takes them. So I hope you guys are really excited too. If you are, be sure to hit that like button for me so I know that you guys are just as excited for I am because you guys really do push me forward to continue to push myself and create awesome content. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and also hit the notification bell button next to the subscribe button so you know whenever I upload a video. But we are gonna go ahead and get started with this series and I am starting off with one of my favorite Disney princesses and that is Ariel. So I decided to have her name as Ariel and her last name is Eternity because you guys have an idea where this is headed. But I wanted to show you guys her. I think she is adorable. So here's her party outfit. Here is her swimsuit. I tried to stick with the same colors as Ariel, the purple, the green, and the red. And here's her athletic wear, her formal wear, and her everyday wear, which I think is so cute. I did download some content from the Sims resource, and I will go ahead and put all of that information where I got them, what mods I'm using, and where you guys can find that. That will be on our website. So there will be a link in the description for you guys if you're interested. And I'm going to be adding to that list. Um, all of my mods actually bugged out because there was an update uh, for The Sims 4. So all of my previous mods are gone. So I need to go shopping again. And this is what I'm starting off with. So I'm so excited for this. Uh, I am going to pick her personality traits and her aspiration with you guys. So for this series, I was really inspired by the Disney Princess Challenge, which I've seen a ton of people doing. But what I really liked about that was that they stick true to the actual princess characteristics. So that's what I'm really going to do with this series, the good, the bad, and the ugly of each of the princesses. So I think for Ariel's aspiration, I really want her to do something with nature because she loves the sea and she just wants to explore the world. So I think for her I'm going to choose the curator. This sim wants to collect everything the world has to offer. So for her personality traits she is going to be a goofball first and foremost. She is also a music lover because she loves to sing. And for her last one, let's see, let's make this pretty interesting. So maybe I won't make her a goofball. I think I'm actually going to make her either childish or clumsy because she's still discovering the world. So I definitely think I'm going to have her be clumsy instead because she is still learning how to walk on her two feet. And I really want to have this sort of attribute to her. So since she wants to collect everything the world has to offer, I am going to say that she also loves the outdoors. All right, so there she is. This is Ariel Eternity, and I am so excited to get into this world. Let's go ahead and save her and jump right in. 
All right, so since I'm going to really be focusing on the vampires, we are going to make our world in the Forgotten Hollows, which is the newest location with this pack. So the only one it looks like it's this one. Oh my gosh, we're going to be broke. All right, so we just moved into Widow Shield Home. Is Ariel a widow? I don't know what that means. But we bought the house unfurnished uh, because I want to go ahead and check and see what cool stuff they actually have uh, with this pack. So I'm really excited about this. And Ariel's already on her phone. I'm just going to let her do her thing. And we're going to go inside the house. Oh, guys, look, she's already singing. She's already practicing. She's sounding great. Just keep practicing, Ariel. Just keep. You'll get there. <laughs> all right all right she is going to let's just have her go ahead and practice singing she acquired the gaming gaming skill which is kind of cool so she's just gonna practice singing and hopefully she can meet someone in this new little town of hers it doesn't seem like there's too much stuff going on here just a bunch of creepy old houses um no nightclubs or anything but there are some people walking around all right so it's been a while since i played so please guys bear with me but this is the house that we just moved into. Um, it's pretty sad looking. <laughs> pretty sad looking. I don't know why she chose this location, but um, we're going to make the best of it. So let's actually go inside and I am going to try to furnish this place. Let's see what this vampire pack actually has. All right, guys, so while Ariel was practicing her singing, I went ahead and furnished her house just a little bit. Nothing too crazy. We just gave her the bare essentials. We're not going to get too into the vampire stuff right away because she is not a vampire just yet. So uh, she's just living a simple life here, just trying to make a new living um, and um, trying to make some friends. So let's see if we can actually go out and uh, meet some people. Sounds like there's two of her singing right now. Let's go explore the city. Um, what is this? View a mosquito trap. We're gonna view this mosquito trap. All right, stop singing. All right. Ooh, wait, we just, did I just get a message? The welcome wagon. Welcome to the neighborhood. People are coming to visit. Oh, hey, people are coming to visit. Who's this guy? Let's do a friendly introduction. Okay, she's still practicing her singing. She should probably just give it a little break. Is that her? Or is that someone else? <laughs> Hello! All right, I kind of like this guy. All right, so I think he's our first vampire. Let's see. Um, brighten day. Let's brighten his day. All right, his name is Caleb. I think uh, there's going to be more people coming to the neighborhood, so I should just stick around. And we should try to make some friends. Let's see. A heartfelt compliment. I love your hair. <laughs> um, how about favorite band? Is he into music? Ooh, a CD. <gasps> yeah, music? He didn't seem too crazy about that. All right, let's see. What else can we talk about with him? Let's let's um ask about vampire history. Let's learn a little bit about the history. We're just so curious on vampire history. I'm not a history buff, but maybe check a library book for some. Ooh, okay, a library book. Let's be enthusiastic about vampires. I am so excited about vampires. They're so cool. Is he a vampire? Shouldn't he not be out in the day? Think it's time to get going. See you around. Thanks for hosting. Bye. I'll see you later. I want to hug you. We're at that level. Yeah. Hugs. All right. So let's go ahead and go inside our house. Oh, you know what we need to get for her? She loves music. So I definitely need to buy her a radio. So let's get her a radio. We don't have much money right now, so let's see if we can just give her a little bit of happiness. And uh, we're so sad we don't have any money. I'm just going to set it on the floor. You can still get down with that, right? All right, let's listen to something. 
Listen to classical. We're going to get her in a really, really happy mood. Oh, Ariel loves classical music. All right, so she's in a really, really happy mood. All right, so I still hear the singing, but let's actually go out. Let's go to the park and see if we can meet anybody. Um, anyone new? I really want to meet the rest of my neighbors. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of people out in town. Um, and maybe we could actually go out and try to collect some things because Ariel does love to collect some things. Um, and I've never done this, this, um, goal before. Collect 10 collectibles. Oh, I could do that. We can do that. So let's go out and try to collect some collectibles today. What about this mosquito trap? There's, why are there so many mosquito traps here? There's just a lot of mosquitoes. All right, so what is this mosquito trap? All right, it's just a mosquito trap, nothing special. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna send her right over here. It looks like there's some interesting stuff right down below that we can collect. What is this? Ariel just wants to explore everything. What did she collect? A piece of limestone. Should have a fossil inside. What? Okay, there's another one over here. And it looks like there's an abandoned mine. That looks dangerous. Oh, she's... Oh, there's bats in there. Oh, be careful, Ariel. Those bats just flew out of there. You're going to get bit by a vampire bat. There's more bats. More bats in there. All right, let's, let's head home. Ariel has to go potty. She's heading back to the bathroom. Jog briskly, Ariel. You're gonna go potty. It's like this area is haunted with my voice. <laughs> it's like forever singing terribly. All right, Ariel, let's send you inside to use the restroom. So now I think I want to have my friend come hang over. Caleb, my only friend. Are you busy? Come hang out with me. I don't want to be alone. My first night here. Oh, whoa, he came so quickly. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's let's go out to the door. Let's try to cheer him up. He's not having a good day. Oh, is he sad? Why are you sad? You don't be okay. Here, why don't we... I'm going to brighten his day. Oh, he's happy now. Look, easy as that. Just as easy as that. I'm talking about rainbows and butterflies. All right, let's go ahead and... I mean, I don't know if this is going to work, but I really want to be a vampire. I came here to learn about vampires. I'm going to ask him. I'm just going to straight up ask him. It's a nice setting. We have good music playing. Will you... Will you turn me into a vampire? Please? No? Oh! Is, it, is he doing it? Oh! Oh, he's hypnotizing me. Oh my goodness! Oh, that's... He's... Ooh. Is, is that it? That was painful. Now what? Oh, and now I need to suck his... Okay. This is how it works then, I guess. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Are you leaving me now? <gasps> Look, I am now a vampire. Was it that easy? Ooh, I'm uncomfortable. I'm strangely hungry. I have no idea. No idea what to do with the vampire. I need to go to the library and learn about vampires. <laughs> Um, appetite increasing, but not really for food. Becomes disgusted by food in question mark. Okay, so what am I supposed to eat? How am I gonna, how am I gonna feed myself? I'm going in the fridge. But I, but I don't think it's gonna satisfy me. What do I do? Caleb, help me. You're not giving me any vampire tips. I'm gonna eat this. What is this? Macaroni and cheese. Is this going to be my last meal as a human being? Mac and cheese? 
This is my last meal as a human. All my hunger has just increased. And I'm still really uncomfortable. I don't know what's going on. But I'm still going to eat this mac and cheese. Oh, there's that weird stomach ache again. All right, I think I might need to uh, learn how to make plasma is what I'm supposed to eat. But I don't know where I'm supposed to get that. So is this the vampire life? Unemployment. <gasps> hey, we're friends! Yay! He's talking about moving. He wants to move in with me already? Oh, geez. Okay, I'm really uncomfortable. That food wasn't very tasty. I have a bad aftertaste. Oh, no. I need to go to the library. Is there a library here? Let me go. I, I There's not a world view. Okay, Caleb. Um, I'm going to have to ask you to leave now. Sorry, buddy. Just, just, I'm not feeling really well. I'm just a little uncomfortable. Where did he go? He just vanished. Okay. Oh, now he's outside my window. <laughs> Get out in the city. Let's see if I can go out. Oh. What is this? A strange man appeared, I guess. Greetings, child. My ancient plasma senses you have recently been turned. It will take a few days to fully change into a vampire, but fear not. The night awaits. Got it. Becoming a vampire takes a few days. Okay, so was this guy just here? Like, where? Okay, so I just discovered vampire secrets. Ariel is delving deep into researching vampires. There seems to be a lot of knowledge uh, she could unlock if she continues to research. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna continue to research and it looks like I'm getting a call. Your new thirst for plasma takes some getting used to. Remember, thirst can be uncomfortable, but it won't kill you. Here are some plasma packs to keep you fed for the first few days. Just stay out of the sun and you'll be fine. So thirst can't kill me? Phew. Alright, so I leveled up. I am researching. It doesn't look like I'm researching. I'm just taking my plate. Oh, I forgot to put a sink in my kitchen. So I have to come upstairs. Um, you know, that's the hard life of a... Oh, yeah. Newly moved in resident. That's my clumsy, clumsy lesson. Oh, darn. Okay, is she going to bed? Wait a minute. Hold on. I want to go and, and check my inventory and see if I can actually read. I don't want to sleep right now. I just want to relax. Spray the monster under the bed? I think we should do that. Is there a monster under the bed? <laughs> Take that! Stupid monster! Okay, so I have some plasma packs in my inventory. I guess I could just go ahead and sleep? Uh, I guess so. All right, I'm not I'm not that sleepy anymore. Should I just wake up? I feel like I should go out and explore. I'm still very uncomfortable, but that's just the side effects from being a vampire. So let me just go ahead and change my outfit so I don't look like I'm in my pajamas. Let's go out and meet some people. Here, a friendly introduction. Look, look guys, vampire friends. You must teach me the way of the vampire. Wait, are you guys vampires? And why are her boobs so saggy? <laughs> They're really, really saggy. Hey. Um, I'm gonna brighten your day. Oh. Bye. I need some vampire friends. Let's praise the vampire lifestyle. Praise the vampire lifestyle. Abzo. <laughs> <laughs> she likes books. Let's see what she does. Casual discussion with Chloe. Chloe Havens. Oh, she's unemployed too. That must be like a thing for vampires. Right? Everyone's on it. <laughs> and that's what you call a mod that is messed up. Oh my gosh. I can extract a fossil. Let's do that. <gasps> And I didn't want to place this on the ground. What is in there? Is that things that I've collected? I need to collect 10 things. I have one thing. Okay, cool. I'll just sing in the dark. 
Don't mind me. Okay, so what do people do around here for fun? Anybody? I know there's vampires walking around, but uh, where's everybody go? <laughs> All the rest of house is here. All right, I think we're gonna send her to the city. Let's just check out, whoa, there's so much to do here. Yeah, my neighborhood is um, full of vampires, but I think I'm gonna go and just hang out, maybe take some singing lessons. I need to go to the library for sure. Whoa! All right, so I don't think I'm gonna pronounce this name right, but I'm at the Mushino Meadows. <laughs> yeah, um, this place looks awesome. So it's still nighttime, uh, but look how pretty it looks. <gasps> Is this where a wedding takes place? Oh my gosh. What? There's no one is awake. I'm just walking around here. It's feeling uncomfortable and smiling creepily. Where is everybody? This place is ginormous. Oh my lord. Okay, this place is so pretty. How am I going to come here in the daytime if I can't, you know, I, I can't catch the sun's rays? All right. I came back home because I am pretty hungry and I look like I've seen a ghost. Maybe I can hear my ghost self singing because it's never going to end. Always singing. All right. So before I go to bed, it looks like I'm heading upstairs. It looks like I'm walking like a zombie. So before I go to bed, I am going to place this plasma into the world. I think this is what I drink. I just placed it down right there. Can I put just put it in my inventory and then do I eat it or it just stays there? I am miserable. Ariel is miserable. She's hungry. She has to go to the restroom. I know. You're feeling nervous. You can't go back now. You're forever a vampire. All right, so it looks like I'm going down to cook something again. Um, I can't eat the plasma. I thought the plasma was something that I ingest, but I guess not. So let's just see if she could eat normal food. It looks like she wants to cry. Her lip is quivering. All right. Go ahead and eat that meal. And let's see if you can actually eat that because I have no idea, Ariel. Poor thing. Just listen to the music and, and eat. Everything will be okay, Ariel. I know it's disgusting, but you're still in transition. So you can quiver your lip all you want, but you still gotta eat that food. It looks like she's regretting her decision. Dear diary, I moved into my new place today and met a really nice vampire. I asked him to turn me, not thinking it would be anything serious. When his fangs dug into my neck and punctured my skin, it all felt but a dream. It's becoming even more real than I could have ever imagined. When the sight of my favorite macaroni and cheese disgusted me. I'm so unsure about my decision to do this and I feel so uncomfortable. It's like nothing can make me happy again. I can feel the vampiric bite deep in my soul and through my veins. I hope this passes soon. Till next time, diary. XOXO, Ariel.